Hi there, this is John from cncking.com and today's question is, what is the difference between additive and subtractive production? Well, let's deal with additive first. Additive is basically 3D printing. You have one layer or one thing added to another one, added to another one added to another one. Now subtractive is actually removing chunks of material out of it. So this would be like a table router or a laser cutter. Now a laser cutter and a table router, generally speaking, I can only work from the top down. So if you want to cut this object, it cuts it out in 2D. While a 3D printer, because it's additive, actually can construct the project layer by layer and into a 3D form. Now, which one is better? Well, it depends on the application that you want to use it for. If I want to make a shoe, for instance, and only have a three-axis laser or a three-axis table router, um, I'm going to use 3D printing because otherwise my foot's not going to fit into it because the best I could probably get done with a router or a 3D printer is something like this. I can't get the inner part here done. It's just not possible because um, removing material. If I remove here, I'm also removing this area, which I don't want to do for a shoe. Now, if I wanted to make, let's say, a vase, like this, this angle here would not be possible because it's again 2D just from the top. So 3D printing, 3D printing. Now, if I want to make something like this here, I definitely do not want to use 3D printing because this thing here will probably take about a week and I'll probably require a machine that costs at least half a million dollars. So something like that, I do want to cut into 2D and actually form it together myself and build it. Now there is something kind of neat with lasers and routers. It's called 2.5D. So like I said, everything is 2D. But it doesn't mean that for a laser, let's say you have a light source, it's only 2D, can it, go, it can only go straight down. But what you can do is have a little bit out of focus. And if you have the laser beam a little bit out of focus, it means that you can go over this material and remove a little bit of it. So for instance, let's say you have an acrylic circle if I cut it with a laser, it's straight down, basically. But if I put it out of focus, I now end up with a slight bevel, which is kind of neat. Uh, with a router, it's even easier. I just change the bit. I could have as many different bit sizes and uh, details or profiles as I want. So there is a way to roughly uh, sort of get not straight 2D, but it's actually 2.5D. You can also do engraving with a laser, as you can do with a router, or you can do pockets. But never forget, router and laser, always from the top down on a three-axis machine. Well, with a 3D printer, it's from the bottom up in your building. Thanks for the question, and I'll see you in the next video. Come on, baby girl, let's get it going on. I'ma hit the highway and do it my way. It ain't no game girl, so I don't play games. I keep it up straight, right up in your face. So make your mind up, cause life is too short. I got the vest on, boy, put your belt on. Stop acting all cool like Kanye West. Boy, you be riding through the wire and the time I get by. You don't want that, no. I don't want that, no. This goes up between some chicks, so slow, slow. Hit the backseat when you're doing the licking, kissing, squeezing. Do the damn thing, man.